Hi everyone and welcome back to the S&P Saga, your weekly recap of the S&P 500 index. The index ended last week up again, driven by strong jobs numbers and crude oil prices. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove 64% of the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As discussed last week, we're now covering the top 10 winners and losers instead of the usual top 5. Drop a like and let us know in the comments if this is a better insight or if we should stick to the top 5 format. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into this week's review. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,751 and 7 cents, a 0.2% from last week and adding 165 billion of market cap. The PE ratio based on current price and the latest earnings stands at 29.74, down 0.20 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Nvidia up 87.6 billion or 2.9% on the announced AI deal with Accenture and CEO Jensen Huang's comments about incredible demand for its Blackwell chips. Meta is up 72.3 billion or 5% on its newly announced Quest headsets. Alphabet up 40.3 billion or 2% as the company announced the RoboTaxi expansion program with Hyundai for its Waymo unit. Exxon is up 39.9 billion or 7.7% following a 9% increase in crude oil prices this week. Broadcom is up 19.4 billion or 2.3% as specific figures surfaced regarding the legal battle with AT&T. BlackRock is up 11.9 billion or 8.5% on reporting that the company is negotiating a data center investment with the Italian government. ConocoPhillips up 11.4 billion or 9.4% following a 9% increase in crude oil prices this week as well. Salesforce is up 10.6 billion or 4% on no specific news. AMD is up 10.6 billion or 4% as investors try to front run its advancing AI event on October 10. Berkshire Hathaway is up 10 billion or 1% as the company purchased the remaining 8% minority stake in Berkshire Energy. Moving on to your losers. Microsoft is down 88.9 billion or 2.8% as the most recent Copilot update did not impress investors. Tesla is down 33.1 billion or 4% following the disclosure of Q3 delivery numbers that fell short of expectations. Amazon is down 15.5 billion or 0.8% on no specific news. Apple is down 14.1 billion or 0.4% on no specific news as well. Procter & Gamble is down 10.8 billion or 2.6% on no specific news. Nike is down 10.8 billion or 8% as the company withdrew its full year guidance when it announced its earnings last week in the context of the CEO change. Merck is down 10 billion or 3.5% on no specific news. Humana is down 9.6 billion or 24.9% following its Medicare star rating dropping from 4.5 to 3.5. Elevance Health is down 7.4 billion or 6.1% as the company gained market share in Medicare plans by expanding service to 99 additional counties. Finally, Coca-Cola is down 7 billion or 2.3% on no specific news. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. Looking ahead to Q3 2024 earnings seasons, some companies have started to report earnings. Seven members released results last week and 480 89 companies are now left to report. Nine S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending October 11, 2024. And the most interesting will be Pepsi on October 8th, Progressive on October 10th, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, and BlackRock on October 11th. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Nvidia and Tesla were up last week, you should watch this video next.